Hey everyone, welcome back to Learning with Luke. Uh, today what I'm gonna do is uh, have a video basically showing you how you get from design to 3D print. So we're gonna take a look at basically using our SOLIDWORKS software, how we're gonna design, we're gonna do the Olympic rings, right? Uh, Olympics are going on, so why not? Uh, so we're gonna show you how basically we're gonna be designing the Olympic rings, okay? And then we're gonna be taking that file uh, taking it into GrabCAD, uh, we're going to be assigning Pantone colors to it, and then we're going to be 3D printing it with our uh, PolyJet uh, machines, and then I'll show you how the colors come out on the rings. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at a couple videos. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at Ryan designing the Olympic rings. Um, I have the, the video going uh, about four times faster than, than normal um didn't want to bore you guys with the entire design but as you can see he's basically doing this whole thing from scratch using our solidworks software that we also offer um so he's going to design the olympic rings from scratch then what we're going to be able to do is once he saves it out as a as a solidworks file we're going to bring that native cad data into grabcad right grabcad allows you to bring in native cad data um you don't have to have a specific file type for it. So let's go ahead and take a look at how Ryan's doing this. As you can see, he's very quick, right? <laughs> so once Ryan creates the rings and um, creates a 3D model out of this, um, we're going to be able to grab that data and bring it into GrabCAD. So he has the model done here, um, as you can see. And what we're going to do next is basically grab that SOLIDWORKS file, bring it into GrabCAD. We'll uh, do Auto Orient, and then we're going to start selecting Pantone colors. Um, so as you can see, the O-rings do have separate bodies. This is what you need in order to select uh, the colors for them. You can't just bring it in all as uh, one. You, you have to be able to have different bodies. As you can see, he's selecting the Pantone colors, and then what we're going to basically do is hit print, and we're going to be able to go ahead and go take a look at the, the models off the printer. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. As you can see, it's going to take us four hours, so uh, I'm not going to make you wait four hours on the video. Uh, we'll just uh, put that in there. So here you guys can see that the machine is printing. Um, I did speed through the video. <clears throat> Let's check it out when it's uh, it's going to start lowering this uh, tray here shortly. And we're going to be able to take off our uh, Olympic rings, right? So as you can see right about now, it's going to start going down. I'll grab a spatula, take these parts off. Uh, we're going to take them to the clean room uh, and clean them as well. Pretty cool uh, backlight, by the way, that the J55 does have on on the printer. Uh, so basically I just took them off, put the spatula back, grabbed the Olympic rings, and we're going to just basically use a uh, pressure washer. Um, that's, I just call it a pressure washer, but that's the, the cleaning station for the PolyJet um, technology. As you can see, I sp sprayed it, rinsed it, and there you have it. Thanks. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I love doing what I do. I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing what we can do with 3D printing. Uh, it's amazing what we can do with our SOLIDWORKS software. Uh, as you saw, basically, you know, we were able to design the rings. We were able to assign the Pantone colors, and then we 3D printed those rings to, to come out and, and look great off of the 3D printer. So, uh, as always, you guys can email me at buildpart at cati.com. Visit our website at cati.com. Uh, and see you guys next week. All right. Have a great, great week. Bye.